Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to buy Bitcoin on Coinbase, transfer it into GDAX, and then transfer it to your Ledger Nano S. So let's get going. Okay, so epic fail. I recorded this entire video without the microphone functioning properly, but not to worry. I'm going to do a voiceover. What we're going to do is buy some Litecoin on Coinbase. We're going to transfer that into GDAX and then quickly exchange it for Bitcoin. From there, we'll transfer it to our Ledger Nano S. So here we go, guys. I left a link down in, in the description on where you can purchase your Ledger Nano S. Okay, so one of the great advantages of this voiceover is that I pared it down to just the essentials. We're going to sign into our Coinbase, enter our two-step verification. Now, what I want to do is go to buy and sell here, and I'm going to choose Litecoin because it is the fastest and easiest way. I want to use my debit card because that makes the transaction happen even quicker. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and buy one Litecoin. Litecoin is cheap today. So we just enter the amount. We'll go down there to buy Litecoin instantly. Once we click that, we'll do a confirm. And you'll notice that the Litecoin appeared in our wallet almost instantaneously. It was that simple. The next step is to go over to GDAX. GDAX is the trading platform owned by Coinbase. And when we transfer our Litecoin in there, it's going to be free. And then once we get it in there, then uh, we'll be able to transfer it out with no fees as well. So I make sure I'm in the Litecoin market and I'm going to do a deposit. And as you can see here, the Coinbase account is linked right into GDAX. It shows my Litecoin balance in Coinbase. So all I need to do is enter that amount or whatever uh, smaller amount I'd like. And then I just choose deposit funds. And that instantly transfers the Litecoin from my Coinbase into my GDAX account. It was that simple. Okay, so now that I have quickly funded my uh, GDAX account with Litecoin, I'm going to buy some Bitcoin. And this is the quickest way to buy Bitcoin. So we've got the Litecoin Bitcoin market here. I just need to go over to that. And then basically what I'm going to do is just uh, trade my Litecoin for Bitcoin. This is much faster than trying to buy the Bitcoin directly on Coinbase. So as you can see, if I click on the Litecoin amount, it will uh, auto fill for me. That's the max amount. But today I'm not going to buy it all. I'm just going to use uh, part of it to buy this Bitcoin just so I can demonstrate how to uh, transfer Litecoin to Bitcoin. And then uh, I'm going to show you how to transfer that Bitcoin over to your Ledger Nano now that we've got the Bitcoin balance in GDAX. Very simple, very easy to do, and very quick. So the next step is getting our Ledger prepared. We want to make sure we have the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin app. Should go through the install here. This is a Chrome app. It's going to install directly into Chrome. As you can see, I already have it in my Chrome browser. And the next piece of the puzzle here is the Ledger Manager. The Ledger Manager allows us to add and subtract altcoin apps on Ledger Manager, on the Ledger itself. So we are, we're going to make sure we have that installed into our Chrome browser. And just go down here and click Install, and it gets installed. In okay, so the Bitcoin app is installed by default on the Ledger Nano S. If for whatever reason you've removed it, uh, you're going to need to go back in and uh, add it back into your apps. So you'll just go to Bitcoin and click that down arrow to install. Keep in mind, whenever you uh, install on the Ledger Nano S, it is going to ask you to confirm on the device. Uh, so you'll just look at that little check mark and click the button. Okay, so now we're ready to launch our uh, Bitcoin Wallet app. And uh, once we get that done, uh, we need to make sure that we're in the Bitcoin app on the ledger itself. We've got the Chrome app and the Bitcoin app, both. And uh, I'm going to choose Bitcoin here. And I'm going to choose SegWit today. You can use SegWit if you'd like to transfer from GDAX into a SegWit Bitcoin wallet. That is possible. 
So as you can see, this is a SegWit Bitcoin wallet. There's a little bit in there already. And we're going to go to receive. We're going to get that. Uh, it's going to generate a receiving address, which we will copy. And once we get that into our clipboard, we're going to go right back over to GDAX. And we're going to do a withdrawal of our Bitcoin. So it's very straightforward. All I'm going to do is choose a BTC address here. And I am going to paste that wallet address from the Ledger Nano into my send field. And uh, I can click up here to max out the Bitcoin that I have in GDAX at the moment. You don't have to send it all, but I will at this point. And then we just enter our two-factor authentication code. And uh, we'll click on Withdrawal Funds. And uh, that's it. Very easy. And as you can see, the withdrawal happens very quickly, right away, with no fees. So let's go back over to our wallet and see what we got. So I'm here in the wallet. Um, I'm looking at my transactions. I'm just going to do a quick refresh and notice how quickly that Bitcoin arrived. You can see it right there. Quick and easy. This is the quickest and easiest way to buy Bitcoin using Coinbase, GDAX, and transferring it to your Ledger Nano. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. There's a bell next to the subscribe button, which will alert you whenever I post a new video. I apologize for my sound issues and I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you watch again. Thanks.